So you know I grow tons of lettuce. I'm about down to my last two good heads of lettuce here. And when you know they're ready is they have a nice tight head, they are full, and to pick them, I either get a knife, and you can see that sometimes I just cut it off from its root end there, or I just literally pull it up because the, ra the soil in raised beds is so light, and I just twist off that root. So I'm gonna pick these last two heads, and then I think we're gonna show you how to store it, because some of you have asked, you grow all this, how do you keep it in the fridge for a long time? What do you do to store it? And there are a few things that can make a difference. Okay, isn't, isn't just heads lettuce, it's beautiful. So let's go in the kitchen and I'll quick show you what I do to help this keep a little bit longer. Now that we're inside, there are a couple different things. So if I was just growing a row of lettuce that was all loose leaf and small leaves, I would wash it, dry it a little bit, spin it dry to get off the excess water and then store it. So when they're heads, you can do a couple things. If they're an intact head and you wanna keep them for a while in the fridge, just as they are as a beautiful head, I always start by running that head under some water just to make sure it gets droplets of water on it. And then I put it in a large plastic zip top bag and keep it like this. But if you wanna wash it so it's easy to use and just take out right away, I'm gonna make sure to take all this lettuce apart and I'm first going to kind of shake it off because as I mow, some of that grass gets mowing into the heads. And so you're gonna have pieces of grass in there. So I'm gonna start by opening this up and then rinsing off each piece to make sure I have any of that dirt off or any of those pieces of grass. Cause like, look at that one, it has quite a few in there and you wanna get all those off. And they can be kind of hard and tricky to find. And sometimes you will find spiders within there. I do not like the sound of that. You know I hate spiders. That part actually, those don't happen to me as often. It's usually just dirt and grass. Also in raised beds, the dirt is usually a little bit finer. And so if you have a lot of wind, which, you know, I got the wind. That can blow up in there, or especially when it rains or if it storms, that can all go in there. So it's really easy just to take apart all these leaves and rinse them off, get them all beautiful, take off any that are bad, if you see any damaged ones. And then I'm actually using a colander here so I can continue to wash it. And I might just even use the sprayer here and just make sure I have all the pieces clean. So fresh lettuce like this is really tender. And if you left all this water on it, it would actually be too heavy for it and soak in too much and it would cause it to, it would actually just cause it to rot a lot quicker. So you don't wanna do that. So instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay it out in these big pieces. Yes, this looks like work, but honestly, when you're growing your own food, half the great part of that is that you're saving money at the grocery store, right? Yes, you are. And to do that, you need to be able to save some of it sometimes quicker. Cause if you plant a whole swath of head lettuce, varieties are usually ready at the same time. So you're gonna have more than one head ready in one time. So you wanna make sure to know how to store it and keep it. So you have plenty of lettuce. You can share it with friends too, obviously, but you might as well keep some of it for yourself too. So I put them on a towel here and I'm gonna let them dry off slightly. I just don't want that big amount of water on it. And as you can see, I'm even turning them over a little bit. I know some people would put another towel on top of this, roll them up really gently, and then kind of lightly turn them around just to make sure. You could totally do that if you wanted to. I find this works just as well to kind of just roll them up in here like this. And then you can kind of just sit there and shake it. You can turn it towards you. It's almost like a salad spinner, but the problem is when these leaves are so big, these big ones don't work well in a salad spinner all by themselves. They get too big for it. So it's better just to do these ones in a towel. If it was loose leaf and small pieces, then I would do it in a salad spinner. So I find the best way is to have a big airtight container. For me, that's gonna be a trusty Tupperware container because I use them often. And I very lightly have a damp paper towel in the bottom of it. This is just gonna help keep the moisture in it and then all I'm gonna do is layer in these pieces of lettuce that have some droplets of water, which is good because you don't want them to dry out, but they don't have so much water that they're gonna get waterlogged. So it's perfect way to store them. You don't smash them in, you just let them lay on top of each other. 
These are perfect too. Like if you want to do lettuce wraps, I could so do that. Honestly, I've been having a salad every night, so I'll probably keep doing that. But this is the perfect way. And so this is gonna keep them at least one week. I'm not gonna joke with you when I say it usually keeps them about two. Now that can kind of depend on how cold your fridge is, how much it's getting used. Obviously I'm one person, so I don't open it quite as often. So it probably keeps its temperature a little better, which yes, that does make a little bit of a difference. But I could put actually another head yet on top of this in the same manner, put this in the fridge, store it, and then you're gonna have great crisp lettuce. This is how I like to store mine. If you have any more questions, please keep them coming because you know what? The outdoor, the yard, the garden is endless to answer questions for. So I love to give these tips on what I do and how I use my stuff. So keep asking, sharing them around, let everyone know how easy gardening is. And I am so hungry, so I'm gonna go eat.